Hey guys, it's Griff. Thanks for thanks for popping in to the Licensed Core YouTube channel. Uh, this video is about kill streaks and how awesome they are, and how I can uh, try and help you get them. Because in this game, they are they are tough to get. I I mean, unless you are, you know, truly truly gifted or roll with the team, they are much harder to get than they were in Modern Warfare 3 and 2. That's not to say those games were any easier. They definitely had their different done. quirks and arguably you didn't have to suffer Treyarch's awful connection um, problems which is it lag compensation? It's just oh, horrendous. Some days you know when you're on a good side of it, fantastic. But when it's against you you're, you're stuffed really. You just have to kind of hope for the best and try and pre-fire. Just like there really. Uh, I felt like I've been shooting him for about 10 minutes, but uh, apparently not. Anyway, so kill streaks. This game, I thought, you know, let's go. Let's go a bit crazy. So we had the chopper gunner. Oh, I keep calling it a chopper gunner. Sorry, guys. I had the attack helicopter, or whatever it is. It's 1,100 points that one. Um, stealth chopper. Stealth. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, that's one of the better low kill streaks. I mean, it's not easy to get. So don't panic if you're struggling a bit. Um, but it. It goes ham on the other team unless you get a couple of good players who will shoot it down instantly. But the likelihood of it killing lots of people is much higher than people being sensible. I'm not really sure why. In, in Modern Warfare 3, you know, a lot of people would shoot the attack helicopter out the sky in no time at all. So I'm not sure what it is in this game. Maybe it's the 10 point system kind of forces people to um, use a secondary or, or whatever. I don't know. But much less likely to be shot down, so that's good. Works in your favour if you've got one. If you haven't, it's worth having a setup um, designed to take down kill streaks. So anyway, second one is the warthog. Warthog is fantastic. Um, it's not underrated, and I wouldn't say it's underpowered. It's it's hellishly powerful. I mean, I just don't think a lot of people use it much. They go for the school. Now, some of the pros of it are. It can't kill you, so even if it drops a load of missiles right next to you, you'll be fine. And that's fantastic. Maybe not in hardcore, but um, I haven't really played hardcore much in this game, so I can't comment. But uh, in the normal mode, it's fantastic. Um, I love the kill streaks where you can kind of go off and, and do your own thing, go and shoot people in the face, uh, and let the kill streak work on its own. And that's brilliant. Because. Yeah, you're not lying down in a corner, you're not likely to be shot. I mean, if the good kill streaks will pin a team down, so you're less likely to be shot, but you might get the odd guy who's got some sort of anti kill streak set up, he'll come and get you, and you might not get to your next level kill streak, which is a shame. But, um, yeah, so, really good. Highly, highly recommend, especially on the big maps. I mean, the one on the aircraft carrier or whatever, it's, you know, it gets quads. Quite frequently, and it's fantastic. I think this game is uh, After that, using the VTAR. This is basically the closest thing to the chopper gunner. And you can press, I think on Xbox, it's left back, and it will move to another position. So sometimes, uh, it's as if Treyarch deliberately designed the spawn to be behind. Um, so you can't, you know, sometimes in this game, you'll see that I, I just couldn't shoot where the people were. Um, stupid death hit. I don't know why. Um, yeah, so it's as if they designed it that you can't shoot, but if you hit that button, the VTOL will move to another position and it will start getting ham again. So, really good kill streak. After that is Swarm. I mean, Swarm is arguably the best, but you know, the amount of videos I've watched of really good players um, on a huge kill streak or on the way to nuclear, and then a kind of a rogue. Um, whatever they are, swarm comes down and uh, kills you. So you've got to be very careful with a swarm, especially on the small maps. Big maps, not so much, but um, you just got to be keep an eye out, watch where they are in the sky, uh, and if, if they're heading towards a player near you, just you know, get out of there quick. Um, now this game type is kill confirmed, so if you, if you struggle to get kill streaks, I highly recommend playing objective based games because you get more points, and this 100 points for kill, uh, and then 50 for confirming it. So uh, it's you know it's a lot easier to get the points you need. So instead of 11 kills for the um, stealth uh, stealth chopper, it's that's no, kind of seven or eight. 
that's really good and if you really do struggle even more I, I think I pretty much always roll with um, two perk ones so it'll be ghost or um, possibly lightweight depending on the setup I'm rolling with but I will almost always have hardline in there um, you know really skilled players don't have to, to lose that but kill confirmed is quite a short game so the less time it takes for me to get there the better the more chances I've got of doing it so in this game I had quite a slow start but I was still able to get both of them in the sky twice and that's uh, Vito as well so that's fantastic so hardline is your friend uh, be realistic I mean if, if you're not the greatest player even if you get more points in the game use something you can so um, whatever the predator missile equivalent is in this game I forget what it's called use that and then after that have um, lightning strike because you're likely to get more than that and then just try and head towards either sentry gun because that's that's a really really good kill stream quite hard to kill unless you have um, the MP grenades um, and just go for that and uh, don't be ashamed to use ones that help the team so uh, the blackbird or whatever it's called in this game fantastic it tells everyone where they are and it helps your team uh, guardian can be great in objective games so just be sensible be realistic uh, play games you get more points in and if you've got to play a bit defensive because you're close to a kill streak you know there's no harm in it it's going to benefit the team more if you're you just kind of hold back a set. But uh, anyway, hopefully that's helped you guys. Subscribe, like if you would, and if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a brilliant day. Bye.